steak and chips, voted Britain's favourite pub meal, even beating the Great British Roast. It seems we can't get enough of it. We spent £480 million on steak last year. We're forking out less on expensive steaks like fillet, but sales of cheaper cuts like rump are on the up. But when it comes to steak, do we always know our rump from our ribeye? And is fillet always best? Danny Lydgate is a fifth-generation butcher. He's going to show me what's what when it comes to steak. So, Danny, big bit of animal here. Show me where the various cuts come from. Start off with this. What have we got here? We've got the most expensive part and the most tender piece of meat, the fillet along the middle of the, inside the rib cage. Then we've got the rump at the ends. This is the sirloin here, and if you're cutting a T-bone, you'd cut it that kind of region. And this is the rib of beef, where you can see where you get the ribeye. So when it comes to buying steak, what should we go for? And does it have to be expensive? If you buy the best steak, like a fillet steak, the most tender steak, nothing will come the same close to the tenderness, but it will be expensive. Let's go to the other end of the scale. You want a, you want a good steak, but you want on a, on a budget. Where are we going to? Well, the rump steak is going to be a lot cheaper than a fillet steak. Are you getting a second-rate steak for that money? Not really. I think rump is becoming more popular, so it can be quite tender, but the flavour is the most flavoursome of the whole body. This at the front, this is a sirloin, isn't it? Yeah, we've got a sirloin steak, which is a well-marbled sirloin steak. And marbling is the, the fat that's actually inside the muscle? Yeah, it's in, interior sort of fat of the muscle. Um, it's going to give a lot of juiciness and flavour to the meat. Really, it's essential. Right, we've seen how to buy steak. Now we need to see how to cook it. In this steak restaurant, they use a flame grill with temperatures hotting up to 360 degrees. But the secret of cooking a good steak at home is to follow a few simple steps. First thing to do is to leave it out of the fridge for at least an hour before cooking, something many don't bother doing. People take it straight out of the fridge, um, stick it on the pan. The core, the core temperature of the steak will be cold, and therefore the, the way they want to cook medium rare won't, won't come out the, as they desire. So, Ollie, do you fancy a steak off? Why not? Let's go. We're cooking rump, one of the cheaper cuts, but also one of the most delicious. We're aiming for medium rare, caramelised on the outside, but with a good blush of pink on the inside. I'm going to do it my way. Uh, I'm putting it all on the, the line here. Chef's cooking his steak dry. He doesn't like the taste. Oil can leave, but I'm rubbing a smidgen onto mine to give it a better crust. And don't forget, plenty of seasoning and heat your pan until it's smoking hot. Can you ruin a good steak through bad cooking? Yeah, quite easily. <laughs> quite easily. As a very rough guide, the average medium rare rump needs around four minutes each side, though that changes depending on how you like to eat it and the thickness of the steak. You've got that kind of paranoia on now. Yeah. Yeah. The, the head chef of one of London's great steak restaurants, and you think it's all going slightly awry. Pressure's, pressure's on. You ready? Good caramelisation. Could be better. I do feel a little bit like I'm putting myself on the line here. I talk about food all the time, and now I'm actually cooking some. What if it's awful? The steaks are done. My last tip, if greed doesn't take over, a steak needs to rest for 10 to 15 minutes on a warm plate. So, the moment of truth, the result of the great steak off. Here is Ollie's steak. Well, I have to say, that for me is exactly how a steak should be. Nice and charred on the outside and gorgeous and pink in the middle. But what about mine? Well, given the extra thickness of this, I'm quite happy with that. Char, quite rare in the middle. Some people might turn their noses up at it, but not me. It's pretty good. I love my own cooking. <laughs> 